Yeah, hello and welcome back to the case of the month of April 2021. I'm sorry it took me a bit of time again to get the next case ready. I promise it's a very, very short one and um, I'm sure I'll get a few bigger cases done over the next weeks. Um, this is a very small case, a patient of mine, been, been a patient of mine for a long time. And um, as always, thank you. Uh, Mr. Hagemoser for your support for obstetric technician um, especially with guided implantology it is very important that you have a good relationship and uh, yeah, a very fit dental technician which can take away lots of time on the desk or on the chair if he does a proper or she does a proper job like I said it's upper right first premolar old uh, porcelain fused to metal crown um, patient been in my recall for 10 years, could not see any margin decay, uh, was always hard dentin uh, when I did the, the testing and one day the crown just fell off and it, uh, it showed that the cement was just washed out and the vitreo went actually underneath and didn't start to decay straight away in the first millimeter of the crown margin but much later but the decay was um, eating into the tooth until the procation so we decided it would be best to take the tooth out and place an implant straight away and to reduce the uh, discomfort and appointments for the patient as much as possible we decided to place a guided implant and immediately restore it with a pre-manufactured temporary and this is the interesting part of this small presentation so in our diagnostic session which we always do we take um, a CBCT three-dimensional x-ray, digital photos and a digital scan. Here we uploaded the CVCT into a digital planning software, in this case it was SMOP by Swiss Meda. Superimposed the um, original situation with the digitally reduced upper right first premolar and make sure that you reduce it enough because you, your sleeve needs to be as close to the bone as possible. And then the original situation of course you can place a wax up here as well if you don't like the original situation. Then we produce the guide and once more the implant planning between the roots a little bit slightly palatally to make sure that we don't, don't have any recession risk and uh, yeah, between the roots. Now we come to the interesting part of uh, this small presentation. The cool part with today's software is that you can put a virtual scan body onto the uh, digitally pre-planned implant position and then export this file as an STL file and re-import it as if you have taken um, a digital impression in the patient's mouth. So that allows you then to pre-manufacture the temporary before you even start the operation and that's what we've done here and that's what makes this case beautifully simple. So this is the guide prepared for a 4.3 um, times 13 camera progressive line implant and this like I said this is the temporary pre-manufacturers before we place the implant actually in the patient's mouth. So that makes the whole procedure extremely simple and that makes gu the guided surgery extremely extremely valuable for us. So we're prepared now the surgery can start and actually the surgery I think took something around 27 or 28 minutes so injection local local anesthesia uh, cut the roots took out the buccal root first then the palatal root um, checked for any apical infection which in this case there wasn't any um, left the anatomy intact and checked the buccal um, bone lamella if it's intact you don't need to lift a flap which we didn't need to do here and then you just place the guide and drill away you have to make sure that you get the drill sequence right this was my first guided implant here so I haven't done it entirely right but the result was still acceptable but it shows with the precision of the tempering so if the drill sequence is done we can then place the implant like I said 4.3 times 13 camera progressive line implant and now something very important you can see here 
there's one small dot on the sleeve for the guided implant and there's one small dot in uh, for the implant in the insertion tool so these two dots they have to match they match you can be sure that your temporary fits so that's the implant in place one of the clamps is shown into the buckle direction and then we place the cover screw fill the incongruencies between the implant geometry and the former tooth geometry with um, other genus bone and then can place the implant of course after removing the cover screw can place the temporary immediately you can see here in medial distal direction we haven't done it exactly right so like i said you have to really observe the drilling sequence and then you'll get an even more precise but that was our only mistakes you can see in in the uh, buckle palatal direction we actually did a did a good job as you can see here so that's done like i said in less than half an hour so extremely comfortable for the patient the patient doesn't have to wait for the laboratory to finish the temporary so absolutely brilliant and i believe here this is the final crown you can see um, the soft tissue anatomy is completely fine and uh, yeah for the patient extremely simple thank you very much for watching and yeah i wish you all a good start into the spring thank you